Hello guys, today we'll discuss on a projectile motion with the help of some illustrations here. The question just said that the quarterback Q throw the ball when the receiver R is in the position shown. The receiver's velocity is constant at 10 yards per second and then he catches passes when the ball is 6 feet above the ground. If the quarterback desires the receiver to catch the ball 2.5 seconds after the launch instant shown, determine the initial speed v naught and the angle theta. Now to do this, just let's divide these two into two parts. The first one is just for the player part and the second one is just for the ball part. Now for the players, now x naught is given as x naught is equals to 30 yard which is equivalent to 30 times 3 feet because 1 yard is equals to 3 feet so finally it will be 90 feet and then the initial velocity The velocity of the runner is constant and it is equals to velocity of runner is equals to 10 yard per second if we change into feet per second we can multiply with 3 which is 30 feet per second now what will be the new discovery of distance xr that means previously it was 90 feet and then the additional xr can be calculated because the time t is given as t is equal to 2.5 second in 2.5 second the runner will cover x is equal to xr is equal to vr times t we can cover this one because it has a constant speed so 30 times 2.5 it will be 75 feet he can cover 75 feet in that time that means the total x can be x naught plus x r and then it will become 90 plus 75 which is 165 feet and once we finish this let's do the projectile motion analysis for the ball let's take the initial positions of the ball as our coordinate system this is the ball so let's have this is x-axis this one is a y-axis from the initial point and then we'll have an initial velocity v naught at the inclination of theta then once the ball released or launched it will have such types of pads and then it will cover the total distance of x which is equals to 165 feet and then it will have a y value here this y value is 7 minus 6 so it will be 1 feet below the horizontal x-axis and then we have a time value of 2.5 second as a given parameter for this of our calculation, let's do this one. So v naught in the x direction is equal to we know that v naught cos theta, and then v naught in the y direction is v naught times sine theta. This is the initial velocity combined this in the x and the y, and we know that acceleration in the x direction is zero because the horizontal velocity is always constant in the projectile motion unless 
the wind effect applies and then acceleration in the y direction is negative gravity and then which is equal to minus 32.2 feet per second square for the constant accelerations we have a formula that displacement is equal to initial displacement plus initial velocity multiplied with time plus half a t squared now let's just decompose this one into the x and the y component so the displacement in x is equal to initial displacement x naught plus v naught x times t plus half a x t squared and for the vertical one y is equal to y naught plus v naught y t plus half a y t squared in this specific case we have no any initial positions of x so it will be cancelled out and then any acceleration in the x direction is zero so you can cancel it out finally you can simply like this one x is equal to v naught x times t and for the y component we have no initial position here so y will become v naught one times t acceleration the way is negative g so minus half g t squared but we know that x is 165 feet so 165 is equal to v naught in the x is v naught times cos theta times t and y we know that it's negative one because you know below the horizontal x axis is equal to v naught y is v naught sin theta times t minus we know gravity is 32.2 half of that is 16.21 t squared now let's substitute the numerical values of each one so v naught cos theta from the first equation so v naught cos theta is equal to 165 over t t is now 2.5 second and then it will give us 66 and v naught sine theta is equal to when we arrange this one this one will be in this direction so 16.1 t squared minus 1 over t so v naught sine theta will be this one now v naught cos theta has become 66 let's say this one is as equation 1 and v naught sine theta is equal to when we have 16.1 times t is 0.5 squared minus 1 over 2.5 we will get 39.85 and this is equation 2 now let's divide it equation 2 with equation 1 equation 2 by equation 1 just for simplifying the case so that means v naught sine theta over v naught cos theta is equal to 39.85 over 66 so v naught will cancel out and then sine theta over cos theta is tan theta so tan theta is equal to the division so this will become 0.604 now theta is equal to tan inverse of 0 0.604 and then it is 31.1 degree this is our final answer now we can substitute the value of theta in either of equation 1 or 2 then you can get the initial velocity let's substitute in equation 1 so v naught is equal to 
66 over cos theta, which is 66 over cos 31.1, and then it will become 77 feet per second. This is our final answer. If you need this one into yard per second, you can just divide this one with 3 and then you will get tuning 5.7 yard per second. Pause can be the answer. Thank you guys for watching us. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. We will present you different interesting videos.